Today I want to show you how to make a propeller. So now that you are in Tinkercad, first thing is we come to the side. Right here it says Tinkercad basic shapes. So we select that and we go down to shape generators and select all. Okay, and then we scroll down and go to page three. Now, as you can see right here, this red one right here, it says Pro Gear. We go ahead and select that and we'll pull it out. So this doesn't look like a propeller yet. Now we come over here on the side and it has all these things right here to change. Now what I need to do is first thing is I go ahead and select change this to let's try three. Oop. Three. And now we have a shape that is a triangular shape or has three sides. Um and then we go and look at other area maybe the angle right here and let's just change ooh look at that maybe change it to around let's just put around 30 okay now mm, and or maybe a little bit more, maybe 50, let's try 50. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And we come to tooth gap width. Right now it's three, so let's change it to around 700. Okay, we're getting a little bit better. And tooth core height. So let's change this to maybe around 10. Oh, okay. Now you can see it's starting to make the shape. So you can go ahead and just drag it and see what you can do. Okay. So right now I have 12. Oh, that might look better. That might help it to spin better oh that's too much okay now we can look at teeth is three right now right and you might want to print one out that is with six. So that means six blades. See? So that might help with the spinning of the propeller. Okay. Now, what's the next thing you need to do is, as you recall, in the motor, we have a shaft. That is the pointy stick uh, sticking out of the motor. And you need to be able to stick it in to the middle, right? Now we need to make that means we need to bore a hole. What we can do is just go ahead and go back to the shape right here. And let's just go to basic shape. And we'll come to cylinder. But we don't we don't want to use the color cylinder. As you can see right here, these are shaded, and that means these are gonna be holes. So we want to drag a cylinder out. And let's put it on to, as you can see right now, it says this is two. That means it's two centimeters. You see, every one of these little tiny square is one uh, millimeter. Okay. So that means from here to here is one centimeter. From here to here is another centimeter. Okay. So uh, just to let you know, the diameter of the shaft of a motor, of a DC motor, is two millimeter. So what we have to do is just go ahead 
and just make it to two by two. Okay, you see, two by two. So now we can go ahead and make it a little bit shorter. Okay, because we just want to stick, be able to stick the um, the shaft into the blade. Now, what do we do? How do I put this in the center of the propeller? What I have to do is just go ahead. Oh, sorry, let's come back. Go ahead and highlight both of them. And then we come to this right here. It says align. Okay, click that. And now you can see, now you can see these black dots right here, correct? So what I want to do is I want to click it right here. So that means it's center from the length. So now with the width, I also want to center that. So I just click this, and as you can see, it goes right in the middle. And then now you can see, and there is a hole. Okay? And that's pretty much it.